This is the Biddeford, uh, City of Biddeford's annual uh, Earth Day um, recycling event. Um, we're here as members of the Conservation Commission. Uh, we're promoting um, voluntary uh, yard smart uh, best management practices for people to use on their lawns and gardens. The city already does best management practices for all the public properties and we think it's uh, a good fit for private property owners to uh, start doing that on their own properties. We're members of the Conservation Collaborative. Um, we advise the City Council and the Planning Board on uh, environmental issues uh, when everything comes before those two bodies. Um, and we've been working with the Conservation Collaborative uh, to, they've done a lot of research for us. So working with them, uh, we've put together some handouts. We have free soil sample kits for people to test their soils. Uh, we have some other uh, information on just the 10 simple steps to follow when you're maintaining your own properties and um, links to uh, the, the information that's available on the state website as well. And we have the Solid Waste Commission who's uh, um, selling composters uh, for people to use in their as fertilizer instead of using chemical fertilizers. And it's also kind of a general um, waste disposal for things that you can't put in the waste stream, but the city sets this up so that people can bring those things here today and have them properly disposed of. The soil test kits, you take uh, samples in your yard from the lawn, from the garden, and then send them to the, the lab in Orono and they will analyze it and they'll tell you what your soil is composed of and then recommend if anything is needed to be added or subtracted they will give you some suggestions on how to go about um, correcting that for the proper balance and when possible to use organic materials rather than the synthetic chemical materials that all end up in the water supply and are you know, affecting the drinking water and the, uh, the fishery uh, viability. Many properties don't need extra fertilizer or other chemicals. Uh, also, there's a real uh, safety concern, a health concern with using uh, pesticides and herbicides, insecticides. Uh, those are not natural. There are natural ways to combat those type of pests. Um, but they're, they're very expensive to use the chemical process. So what we're asking people to do is just um, try and um, follow the nature's course of um, managing property, to have a nice yard that they can go out and enjoy and feel safe in. Because these chemical uh, insecticides and pesticides are known to have adverse health effects, especially on children and pets they're much more susceptible than adults are to, um, to exposure to these chemicals. The Conservation Collaborative is a wonderful organization. They uh, have most of the members of the Conservation Collaborative are uh, land trusts in, the, in York County and uh, Cumberland County. We're the only um, municipal organization that's a member. We're the first Conservation Commission to join them. We work closely with uh, we have uh, local land trusts here, Saco Valley Land Trust, Maine Audubon is very active in this area. So we work closely with uh, these other organizations looking at what we can do uh, as a team. We all meet as a board every other month and we, there are a lot of things that come up during these meetings that um, I wouldn't know about just acting as the chair of the Biddeford Conservation Commission. Uh, and they, they provide a lot of great information, uh, help with uh, disseminating information to the public. Um, it's, it's a an umbrella organization uh, focused on conservation. If people want to know more, they, they can go to the Conservation Collaborative website. They're on Commercial Street in Portland, 217 Commercial Street. Their phone number is 207-699. 2989. I call them often. <laughs>